Seems like we were right about the uglification of women in video games, and somebody is finally, finally admitting it. I, w I don't want to sound like I'm excited specifically. I just know that we get gaslight on the regular, called incels and corn addicts and virgins and just go watch sexy videos instead, you know, the typical thing that these retards want to tell us. But it looks like we was right. And why do I say that? Because some developer who works at numerous different companies, his name is Dell Walker. And he worked at many different companies such as Rocksteady and Naughty Dog. And even now, even now, he is finally admitting what we've been saying the whole time that women are being uglified. And let's read this article from Bounding Into Comics. Suicide Squad killed the Justice League character artist, confirms industry bias against attractive female characters. It's very difficult to pitch beautiful or vain black women in games without them coming out back like grocery store aunties. <laughs> Oh my god, grocery store aunties. That's that's a fair comparison. That's pretty fair. According to a developer who has absolutely no love for the people or ideologies who regularly raise the issue, the Western video game industry does in fact hold a very, very real bias against beautiful female characters. We've been saying this for the longest time. A confirmation to this fact was provided by Del Walker, an industry character artist who whose credits include such notable titles as Batman Arkham Knight, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, The Last of Us 2 Remastered, and Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. What the fuck is that? Yo, what? What is that? What were they do? Oh my god. That is... <laughs> that is incredible. That is, um... Wow. Wow. Anyway, retweeting a picture of English footballer... Book. I'm gonna ruin that name. My apologies. Girlfriend T. <laughs> Jeez, I'm bad with names. I'm just not gonna read any names. Wearing a jacket and. What is this word? And blues? Oh, I'm retarded. With the Arsenal right wingers' original jersey numbers on June 18th. What can we call? There's been a handful of times I pitched a black woman character that looked like this. And then after 10 iterations of the concept or model, it comes back without. A speck of the original beauty I pitch. Jeez, they spent so much time just making the woman ugly as shit. They spending money on this. Ten iterations. They had artists make ten different versions of the character. Uh, incredible. Incredible. Yeah. <sighs> we were right, guys. We were right the whole time. We were being gaslit. Proceeding to compare another photo of Benson against an official promotional image of Commander Wright from Sega's cancelled hero shooter Hyena. I didn't even know Sega was doing that. Why is everyone doing a hero shooter? What the? That's so boring and generic. You'll always be seen as a ripoff to Overwatch. I, I don't. I, 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 whatever. I didn't even know they were making that. Walker then elaborated. I'm not talking about model changes. I'm talking about pose or style, softness, age, and flair. I hate giving gaming gate men feel. Why not, bro? We all the same team. You want beautiful woman. What's the problem? Oh, he hate giving us racist chores feel. I can't stand these these racist ass motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I'm all gonna help them. Let's continue. He had it. But it's very difficult to pitch beautiful or vain black women in games without them coming out like grocery store aunties. There's room for both. <laughs> Oh my god, hey, we've been saying this for the longest fucking time, bro. The longest time. I remember when people were talking about Tanya in MK1, and people was like, why did they make Tanya so ugly? She looked way better, and she looked good in MK10. And they were literally calling people racist. Oh, you can't say that. You can't say she's ugly, you racist. You white supremacist, you piece of shit, you clans man, all oh, it's just gaslight when we see the fucking obvious. We see it. We are not blind, but you stay wanna gaslight us. Still alright. And now you're here. Now you're fucking here. Saying the same shit that we were saying the whole fucking time. It really is incredible. We just end up being right, but they still wanna gaslight us. And people who always gaslight people who are right. They are afraid. Okay, maybe that sounds kind of cringe to say someone's afraid, but they, they are nervous. Let's just say that. But whatever, let's continue. Met with the antidote from any developer, Richmond Lee. Dude, a friend of mine, an Asian woman, just 
was just telling me about how this happens to her when she designs Asian women for Western games. Okay. <laughs> they always have a redesign by a Western artist to make her look more stereotypical and pat themselves on the back <laughs> for good representation. Holy shit. They just saying it now. They just fucking saying it out in the open. Wow. You've been saying this forever. Oh my God. It literally is this fat white woman patting themselves on the back and saying, yeah, we're, we're a good white person. We did a good job. We're saving people of colors in that retarded ass time. We saving them. We saving lives. We're a good white person now. And they just fucking saying it now. Ooh, my God. You've been saying this forever. Walker further opened. I hate reading articles. He use words that nobody else uses. Opened. Opened. Uh, whatever. Focus. Yes. They assume adding stereotypical ethno features with the blunt force of some kind of Hail Mary. When a range of diversity exists inside diversity. Basically means it's ugly and beautiful women of every race. But they don't care. They want to pat themselves on the back and be a good white person. <laughs> it really is funny. Whatever, let's continue. Further, as to what he considered a attractive black woman, Walker would agree with Rocksteady Games character artist Lois Starkley that Alan Wake 2 Saga Anderson was both beautiful and soft in a way that he hadn't seen in, in a while in games. Yes, he exclaimed, in time, a successful translation from me. And here's some tweet. Agree, they didn't ruin her. I don't care about that game. That game shouldn't even be considered a game. Like, that shit is a movie. Not a game. A movie. And gamers are calling that shit a masterpiece. I just, I can't with that shit, man. Gamers love fucking movies all of a sudden. You wonder why video games are shit. This shit had barely any gameplay. I'm not touching it. 95% cutscenes, 5% rip off of Resident Evil. This is not a game. It shouldn't have won any awards. And it, it, it didn't even sell well. That should tell you something. The game fucking sucked. It's not a game. It did not sell well. Like, I don't think the first game even sold well. So why make a sequel to a game that wasn't even that popular? It had a little no cult like following whatever you want to call it but it's fucking garbage it's not a game oh my god that's a whole nother rant whatever let's continue so there you have it players the next time someone attempts to belittle you or write you off but notice that your favorite female characters video game characters at least in the west exactly at least in the west are starting to look more and more rough you can rest easy knowing that even industry insiders are aware of the fed up and and fed up with this insulting trend well, there you have it, everybody. I don't know what else to say. We was right. We was correct. <laughs> now, they can, even they can't even deny it at this point. They cannot deny it at this point. We were right. Women are ugly. These bitches are hideous. With a capital hid. Now, that doesn't make sense. Who gives a shit? We was right. We are usually right. Majority of the time. And we get fucking hate for it. I'm not complaining about hate comments. I don't give a fuck. Because I know I'm right. I know I speak the truth. So you can't really say anything to me. And now we have industry insiders. Not industry ins People who work on fucking The Last of Us and Arkham Knight. Saying what we saying. And we got called fucking racist. We still do. And we still will continue to do. Because this industry is not going to change anytime soon. More games are coming out. And more games have ugly ass women of every race. We just saw the goddamn Xbox showcase. Nothing but hideous women. And Diablo. And Dragon Age. And Perfect Dark. And all these other games. Hit the us ugly ass shit. These bitches are ugly. We are not incels. We are not corn addicts. We are not addicted to any videos. We're, we're not losers. We live in the mind. Basin. No, these bitches are ugly as shit. That's it. Stop with the bullshit. We were right, and now even developers in the industry is saying we were right. So all those fucking losers that want to gaslight people like me, go fuck yourself. And that is it for the video today, everyone. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like the video. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. Don't forget to check out my merch store and follow me on Twitter and have a great day. Thank you.